we have reached the point. Well, there we go, it's the camera. Okay, we've reached the point where we need to begin preparing to make the final bend. Do that. Now that we have all our stanches on, and I put the one in that needed glue, got on there, no problem. This is a friction fit now. Not held in by glue, except for the one broken one. I'm going to take this flush cutter. This is one of those cheap $2 flush cutters. Works just fine. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim this. But I'm not going to shape them yet. I'm just going to trim them. And I'm going to try to trim them just like that. It's going to be a little wire. Oh, I got one. Okay. Remember when I said that we might end up finding out ones that we did not get properly soldered. So, let's take the soldering iron. Let's see if we can't put this guy back on. Alright. Now, I put a little bit of acid on there. Let's see if we can't go ahead. A little more solder than that. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's continue trimming. See if there's any more of these. I prefer to use the flush cutter instead of the side cutter because then I don't have to do so much grinding. But we're not going to do that yet because we got to make our final bend. This could get tricky. Alright, now let's take a moment. We got our paintbrush, our big one. See if we can't clear some of the mess we've made. Okay, a feature of my workbench, and all my workbenches that I've made now for many years, uh, like I've said many times, making your workbench should be as important as making your layout. I can sweep this straight off because I have no patient on the front of this. It's going, I'm holding up the garbage. I'm going straight into the garbage, just like that. I keep a garbage right under the workbench. There. That takes care of that. And I have a shop back right nearby. And I'll clean this whole workbench up a little later. But now, we need to make this bend. This is going to be a tricky operation. So, can we get this to match is the question. Can we make this match? Well, we got one problem. It's too long. On this one, now I like those little bent-in sections, but for this one, I'm just going to bend straight down. So, <clears throat> you wonder what this guy's for. This is what this guy's for. He sets me up higher. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to clamp on. Now, I, I like that little handle here, but it's not, we're not going to use it this time. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, boy. Yeah. So, we're not going to bend it that way. We need to bend it this way. And I bent. Yeah, but it comes right back. I need to make a very good bend here. And then I'm going to pull them out a little bit. 
It's fine. We can put them back in. Almost. Very close. So we're getting a little beat up here. Not a problem. We can fix that. Let's see if we can straighten this up just right. Now this is not a contest piece. If this was a contest piece, once I had it like this, I would probably remove it and then really work it. I would work those details. But in this case, this thing must be operational. This will be the only one like this. All the other ends have the little handle on them. But I think we'll be okay on this one. Not bad. Not bad. Steel wire can be very difficult to bend. Now, let's see if we can clean that up a little bit. What tool do we have that would clean that up just right? Well, I would like to use this one. But I've got a lot of acid on it, so I don't know if it's going to work. So let's try this one I have here. There we go. That's the bend I want. Now, lines up nice. What we've got to do is bend it again. This time we can trim it. And this final bend here. This is going to be a tricky one. I'm going to trim it below this step so I have just enough to bend in to go into that hole. Just like that. Remember, steel wire is very springy. So now let's see if we can get this bent. This one is going to be tricky. That's our bend. Did we get a match? Yes, we did. Oh, it pulls it down a little bit. Ooh, that's not too good. Okay. We gotta redo it. Too much, too much. Now on the reverse side, I did get the bend that I made it originally on that side, but I laid that one out carefully to measure. So now we are too far above. So that is where we need the linemans. If we can get it just a little bit, we can get it in between the jaws of the linemans and If we can get it in the Lyman's, we can we can uh, squeeze it and straight. Okay, so that was too much. Let's uh, put these stanchions back in. See if we can figure out. Line it up to here. Let's see if we can get a little bend. And I twist. Now did I get a match? It's not the right degree. It's not. I mean, it's not the right angle. But we got a match. As long as it gets in the hole where where it needs to stay, we got a match. Now how are we gonna fix this guy? Well, we're gonna take this is a little flat needle nose. We're gonna take him. Let's see if we can straighten this guy. Just like that, we give them a squeeze. The copper ones are super easy. That's why I like using them. Okay, we're in. Not 
that. We got a little bit more of a bend in here, which we can, oops, I keep grabbing it the wrong way. Okay. And now we got handrails. Next up, we need to, tr we need to shape them and then clean them up. And then we will have to put some kind of primer on them so that we can then paint them with a, with a small paintbrush. But otherwise, we are in. We got our handrails on. Now we got to make them look like. We got to make them look like. This is the railing. We need to make them look like they grab like this. Okay. That's our goal. We're going to do that with a motor tool. 